separately. So what we're going to do here, basically, is to point at certain doors for you. And if, if the truth is right, if it's the correct door for you, naturally you will feel that. We don't have to explain you why. You, you listen to it, and because the truth has a higher frequency than the truth of your conditioning, immediately, boom, you are able to transcend that truth that was before there, that were in your collective consciousness, which is exactly where we try to take you out. To empower yourself in your own happiness, to empower yourself in your own development, to charge, charge of your own happiness. Here we believe that happiness, happiness is a skill. It's something that you have to develop. You have to learn how to be happy. It's not something that will happen to you when you will be living la la land and everything is going to be beautiful and perfect. We have to change. So the work for us will be ultimately to remind you something that you already know. So some doors are going to be for you. Some doors might be for you, but not now. And some doors are not going to be for you, and that's okay. We don't have the ultimate truth. Uh, and uh, also there is something that will help you a lot. If you come here and you come from a space where you can truly, truly say to yourself, I'm fed up of suffering. I don't want to suffer any single moment more in my life. Today, today, I'm open to learn. I don't want more suffering. Then, and it's a good moment to come. Because there is a price. What's the price? What's the goal of yoga? What yoga looks for? What is looking for? What's the goal of yoga? Eh? Enlightenment? Not good. Eh? Balance is indeed. Balance, union, enlightenment. It's even beyond enlightenment. Yes. The body and the mind? Body and mind, yes. The union of everything. Harmonization? Eh? Harmonization? Harmonization, yes, I do. Mm -hmm. What is it? Eh? Become a soul. Sorry? To become a soul. Please. A soul, yes, to, to be the watcher of the soul, to experience that need. Um, I would say, it depends, of course, on the tradition, but generally speaking, what yoga looks for is ultimate truth. Yes? And ultimate truth is even beyond life. So you go, 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 beyond enlightenment, you get to ultimate. Here in this school, as far as you get to be happy, and you are a good being, a beautiful being for you, a beautiful being for others, is good enough. You can keep forward in afterwards and get to enlightenment and uh, ultimate truth. But ultimate truth, indeed, is, uh, is the goal of a yogi. The yogi is a searcher. So how to get to ultimate truth? Um, there was this story, and it says that um, a person, someone, one day took the wrong bus, or maybe the right one, and he ended up in a village, in a small village, Sunday afternoon. Nothing to do. And he has to wait many hours until the next, next bus passed by. So he started uh, walking in this, uh, the main road of this very small uh, village to see if there was something open. Sunday afternoon was everything closed. But it was the shop that called his attention. The, it was, the showroom it was empty, there was nothing there. And they only have a sign that was saying, the store of truth. So probably because he has nothing to do, he decided to go there and inquire what this place was. He came inside and there was a counter and behind the counter there was this. So he goes and asks him, what, what this place is about? Oh, sir, said the salesman, 
this place uh, is a, a store of truth. We basically sell truth. What kind of truth would you like? We have a statistical truth, we have mathematical truth, we have partial truth, we have absolute truth. Oh, no, no, I would like absolute truth. Absolute truth. Absolute truth is very expensive. Oh, that's no problem. I can pay. How much is it? How much is it? Fair enough. I said the same. If you want to know the price, then they go on at the end of the store. When that man dressed in black is standing, he, he will tell you the price. So the man walk all the corridor until the end of the store and ask to that person, I want absolute truth, how, how much it costs? The price, said the man, the price is that you have to let go everything you know and everything you think you are. Amen. Meditate for a moment and he realized he was not ready. He needed to keep holding to certain knowledge, to certain way to see himself, to certain knowledge that was making him feel more secure, more safe, more powerful. He was not able to let go everything. So he thought maybe, maybe later, maybe later. This is the price, my agents. The price is that I have to let go everything.